Hi, and welcome to AI, ML, and DL. What's the difference by LMI? This video is here to clear up the confusion around the relationships between artificial intelligence, or AI, machine learning, or ML, and deep learning, or DL. We will provide a high-level overview of each subject, address areas they are commonly used, and explain how they all tie together in this ever-evolving world of data. With that, let's get started. Artificial Intelligence You've likely seen plenty of movies about AI robots trying to take over the world. But what do people really mean when they talk about AI? In simple terms, AI is a branch of computer science dealing with a machine's ability to imitate intelligent human behavior. A more recent focus in the field is on a human's ability to identify things about a particular phenomenon with which they are unfamiliar, largely through leveraging pre-existing knowledge. For example, a person doesn't have to know a song to accurately guess what genre it is, or potentially even the artist. The goal of AI is to apply that learning capability to a machine, the ability to learn and infer beyond prior examples and across a wide variety of topics. A popular example of AI is Apple's Siri. Believe it or not, she is responsible for more than just placing food orders. She can play specific songs on your phone, look up items on the web, or start navigating you to a destination. There are even things that you'll likely ask Siri that she hasn't been asked before, and yet she will do her best to arrive at a reasonable answer. A popular subset of AI is machine learning, hence why you often hear AI ML together. ML is the process by which a computer is able to improve its own performance by continuously incorporating new data into an existing statistical model. More simply put, it represents the subset of AI focused on the machine's ability to learn a specific task. How does it do that? Most often by leveraging existing data about that task. For example, let's say we want to make the perfect lasagna. The existing data we use might be all of the unique recipes and cooking methods we can find online. The target would be the online ratings of each lasagna dish. Training a machine learning model on this data would help us understand how good our recipe and cooking method combination might be based on historical data. Sounds easy, right? Well, there are two very important factors to the success of ML. First, the more data, the better our model, as it has more points to determine key patterns and behaviors. The more online recipes we have, the better our model can determine the differences that make the best lasagna. Second, the goal of building ML applications most often relies on finding features or data that contains the patterns that are most helpful. Is there a secret ingredient that always leads to a five-star rating? Last but not least is deep learning, which is actually a subset of machine learning. DL is the part of ML where the goal is to make the learning process resemble the human brain's process of learning a task. This process uses neural networks to simulate the ability of human brain neurons activating during activities. In the design of neural networks, a particular focus is on the human brain's ability to take something unknown and liken it to other things that we have seen to reach a better inference. They use layers to simulate this behavior, comparing unseen data to seen data to reach better inferences. Without getting too complex, since DL is a subset of ML, DL problems can always be solved with a more traditional, or non-traditional, machine learning algorithm. DL algorithms tend to be associated with less structured sets of data, or at least very feature-rich problems whereas ML tends to be associated with more highly structured data sets and limited feature problems. Going back to our lasagna example, we'd expect our DL algorithm to essentially perform the same function, that is, be able to predict how good our recipe may be. But we expect it to be better at inferring unseen data, so we could be more explorative in trying new recipe combinations with our DL lasagna model than we would in an ML use case, where inferring from unseen data is often much more difficult. In summary, 
AI, ML, and DL are all interconnected and can be thought of as concentric circles. The innermost circle is deep learning, which can be thought of as a specific algorithmic approach to ML, where the algorithm used is a neural network. The middle circle is machine learning, which works at the task level. ML applications most often are given a single task to which they provide answers. Because of this, it can only represent a subset of AI, hence why AI is our outer circle. Whether making lasagna or building the robots of the future, artificial intelligence aims to be a collection of tasks to simulate human intelligence.